awesome experience. So I got to watch some of the fights going before I went, and it was just incredible getting to fight in Las Vegas too. What was it like having that adversity after you had that the takedown from Cody Pfister and you were on your back there for a while during the first round? What was that feeling like for you? It was okay. I was just kind of relaxing, letting him kind of learn himself out, which I did feel. And um, I knew he was going to go for the takedown. When I actually got in the cage, I really didn't realize how the cage was slightly smaller than what my UFC debut was. So uh, he did take me down. It was, good. it was a great takedown, too. And um, after that, I ended up reversing it later on and ended up getting the guillotine. So that worked out great. How did you feel about that stand up? Looking at social media, a lot of people think it was questionable. The, oh, the stand up. Oh, by the referee. I think the referee is smarter how he does it, and I did have his hands trapped at the time, so he was having a hard time kind of throwing anything, and, and um, it, it wasn't my decision to stand, stand us up, so I think the referee made a good call in my eyes, and the referee knows what he's doing. Like you said, you know, you reversed your takedown, you, the moment you guys got stood up, you went directly for the takedown. Was that, was that to prove a point, or did you just feel like that was the safest way to keep on going about the fight? Oh, I kind of did that because, um, actually one time in the fight, I, I was thinking, Wow, that was a, a great takedown that he got, and, and the cage is slightly small. I was like, you know what, I want to take him down too, and and um, I, I consider myself a wrestler, and, and uh, that's that's what I did. Was that your expectation though that he was going to take you down and try to ground you out, or did you think he was going to stand up with you at all in this fight? I figured well, the things I've heard is that he, he likes to wrestle and he's known to be a wrestler, so I kind of expected that, and uh, that's that's what that's what happened out there, and and it worked out great. I ended up getting the guillotine, and, and that's that's how it went. Do you feel like you know it was also a very necessary thing for you to for you to do? Face a wrestler, get taken down, get back up. Do you feel like you maybe silenced some doubters now after this? Oh, I don't know about that. Obviously, the more fights, that's the more fights is how you uh, prove anything. So not just one fight of how that works out. And and uh, sure, I, I myself am not a division one wrestler or anything, but but I do know how to wrestle. And and um, I think. Uh, me, me taking him back down was just, just part of what I can do, and, and I'm glad I got to show that. How much do you feel that after that type of fight where you are taken down, that maybe that's something that you're going to go back to the for and really you know, take a lot of time to train in that area and focus on it? Oh, absolutely, for sure. I, I definitely will focus on everything. So every single fight I have, I learn from the mistakes I make, and uh, I, learn, I learn multiple things in this fight, and, and also the fact that... Uh, the movement, the kicks, everything. As, as you can imagine, throwing a kick, your leg is what, maybe three, three feet long, three and a half, possibly four feet long. I don't know about four feet, but something <laughs> that'd be a long leg. John, John, yeah, Seven's two, John Jones' leg. But uh, uh, sure, so that, that takes up a lot of distance. And when when the uh, the octagon is slightly smaller than normal, when you throw a kick, you're you're, you're back up, backed up next to the end of the octagon. So so there's always stuff to work on and creating space and movement, everything. How long do you think you're gonna have to prove yourself? Oh, thank you very much. I, th I think uh, every single fight that you have is always to prove yourself. So even if you're the world champion, the UFC champion of the world, it's still proving yourself. People are coming to beat you or try to beat you. So, so every single fight you have, every time you step in the octagon, you have to prove yourself. You went for an arm triangle submission earlier and you didn't get the tap, but you ended up getting the, the guillotine. How satisfying is it to get a submission victory in the UFC? Oh, it's amazing. So that was my first submission victory in the UFC. I'm thankful that I was able to fight tonight and come out and fight in Las Vegas and then much less have, have the, the submission of the night, or not submission of the night, but have a submission this night. So that was great. So, you know, once again, you came out of a fight pretty unscathed. I mean, you got a little bit of bruising, but you didn't seem to take any really harsh punishment. Do you see yourself getting back in there soon or do you want to take some time off? I definitely want to get back to it. Obviously, correct any mistakes I made, but I have a birthday coming up March 1st, and it will be an awesome experience to get to fight again uh, coming up for my birthday, before I turn 20. Is there anybody particular that you have your eye on that you'd like to face as an opponent? No, man. There's no one in particular. I would like to just keep working my way up one fight at a time, and I'm still growing as a fighter, just as I'm sure anybody else that steps in the octagon for the first time or second time. So I would like to take one fight at a time and, and, and learn everything I can from it. Okay. Guys, sorry to interrupt. One more question. He will also be at the press conference. Yeah. Well, without calling anyone out, though, I mean, you're a fan of the sport. You're, you're now in the UFC. Is there anyone who you think it would be really fun or awesome to step in the ring? There's no one on my mind. I think any fight I have is going to be fun for me, and it's an awesome experience. So, so the fight just how it was fun. My last fight was fun. 
and I'm looking forward to my next fight. I'm sure that'll be fun. So whoever the UFC picks for me to fight, um, I'm gonna train my best and be prepared as the best I can and be ready. Have you started calling Dana White by his first name? He's still Mr. White, always. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you.